Hi, welcome to TechSpark's Technology Training School. In this video, we will be looking into Module 12, Arrays, Part 1, little bit of theory on one-dimensional array. Now, before getting into array, shouldn't we understand what is an array? So, before that, let's learn what is a variable. So, a variable is a named memory location in which data can be stored. So, you have a variable which in which the data can be stored. Now, let us let me give you an example. Let us take a scenario where in your school, in your class, let us say for you, one single student, if I have to store the marks of all the subjects that you have. So, approximately 10 subjects is there in ICSC. So, let us say, let us say, we take 10 subjects, how many variables are required to store the marks of 10 subjects? So, 10 variables would be required. So, let us take 10 subjects per student. For one student, 10 variables are required. Now, if we have to store the marks of all the students of this class, 10th, let us say there are 100 students in this class and so 100 students, each student requires 10 variables totally 1000 variables will be required to store the marks of 10 subjects of each student. So, totally 1000 variables. Now, let us say there are around uh, 10 branches in the city. So, 10 such, uh, sorry, 10 such grades, first standard to 10th grade. So, 1000 variables per class, per grade. So, 1000 into 10. 10,000 variables are required for one particular branch and it, if it is spread across 10 branches in this city, so then you have tough time. 10,000 into 10, which is 1 lakh variables, just one school brand. So, let us say it is spread across almost uh, 10 states like this. So, it is basically 10 lakh variables are required just for one school brand just to store the marks of 10 subjects. Now, let us say it is spread across 10 countries like this. So, 10 countries. So, there is 10 lakh into 10, which is nothing but 1 crore. So, basically, if you have to develop a software to manage the school management system where you are storing the marks of 10 subjects of 100 students in each grade having 10 grades, in the 10 branches in the city which is spread across 10 cities in the country and which is spread across 10 countries in the world. So, you require 1 crore variables. Now, to just maintain the marks of students in 10 subjects across all the branches of a school, I do not think this is a viable solution. Just imagine the situation of a programmer or software engineer, he will have to get admitted in Himhans. So, he has to remember 10, 1 crore variables, which is not at all feasible. So, in order to avoid the situation, arrays was created. Now, what is this arrays? Now, arrays have, you can create an array of any number of variables. It can be an array of 10 integers, an array of 1000 integers, an array of 1 crore integers also it is possible and only one name will be there for that entire array. So, that is the advantage of arrays. So, let me write the definition of a variable and then look into the arrays in the next video tutorial. Keep learning, keep growing.